a YouTube Eli here showing you today how to overload your RAM. Um, this will be a fun little science experiment, uh, seeing how, how much RAM we can use. So right now, if you see down here, it says 1.9 gigabytes in use right now, um, is where I'm at. Um, and then I've got this nice little graph up. Um, I have one inter one Google Chrome up. So this is what we're going to do is start opening tabs. Um, as a little bonus here, we can go ahead and open um, basically as much things as possible. So here's my file system. My um, Firefox, let's open another tab on there as well, just to be safe, you know. Um, here's a Microsoft Word, here's Excel, here's Publisher, here's PowerPoint. We're gonna open some notes, we're gonna open Lockdown Browser, see if that uh, wants to lock me out or not. Um, we're gonna go ahead and run um, whatever this program is, Premiere, Adobe Premiere Pro, we're gonna run OBS, um, is another program, Handbrake. Um, again, it, it doesn't need to be all these specific things, um, if anything pops up asking you if you want to make changes to this device, say yes because that does use more RAM um, if things are trying to make changes to your device. Um, unless it's locked down browser, in which case you do not want to um, open that program because it will um, try and take over your computer. So that's why I just closed it. Um, let's go ahead and open our uh, memory thing again, see how we're doing. So if you used, we went from 1.9 up to 2.4. Let's go ahead and keep on opening up um, Google Tab, uh, Google Chrome tabs. So I'm just going to keep clicking this button here um, and we will see what that does to my RAM. Um, if you see there in the upper right hand corner, um, I have eight gigabytes of RAM installed um, on this laptop uh, and it is a laptop so um, so it's not gonna be super efficient or anything. Um, but I am, again, I am just spamming, opening new tabs and new tabs. Um, the most I have been able to get up to so far is 2.6, it looks like, uh, 2.7 um, gigabytes of RAM. Let's go to Firefox here and open a bunch more tabs. Um, I'm not sure how much uh, these will use up, but, um, these do, I mean, they do use more, um, but we can just go ahead and spam that as well um, to, you know, kind of, kind of try and help, um, help with that. So let's look in the search box here as well and see if there's other um, things we could open, perhaps, um, and then that will help use up our RAM also. So iTunes, that's a good one. Um, Adobe Acrobat Reader, those use up a bunch of RAM. Um, Semantic Endpoint Production, that one's kind of weird. That one crashed my computer, as you can see over there. Um, I don't like that one, so I don't want to run that. Um, here, things that use a lot, like Photoshop uses a lot. Um, Creative Cloud, uh, that, that's always fun. Um, my computer's not really that slow yet. Um, so let me just kind of scroll through here and then see if there's other things. HP Smart, I really have no idea what that means. Lenovo Companion, that's probably a pretty good one. Um, we're only up to 2.7 gigabytes right now. Um, so it's turning out to be pretty hard to overload your RAM. I thought this was gonna be a lot quicker. Uh, Microsoft Edge, yep, that's a pretty good one. We need some Solitaire up in here too. Where'd, where'd uh, Solitaire go? Oh, OneDrive, yeah, that's a good one. Netflix, where the heck did Netflix go? Um, but yeah, too bad you can't open like multiple things of, oh, Skype, yeah, of all of these like at once. You've got to kind of go through and click them each time. Um, my mouse did start to lag there a little bit, um, but it's not completely slow yet um, because I still can scroll through pretty well. Um, no, not that. Where did uh, Xbox go? We can open that. Um, basically, you're looking for a lot of executables, a lot of programs. Um, or if you're on Mac, uh, I forget what's it like a G, GTG file, GT something. Uh, where'd my? Let's see how much we're using. So we're only using two point six gigabytes of RAM. Um, Skype for business has stopped working, so things are stopping to work. Um, it does say I'm using one hundred percent of my CPU, which I think is kind of uh, kind of funny or kind of weird that. Oh wait, what about? Uh, make sure go to, into your power options and click high performance. Uh, use more energy. 
So I'm thinking that that will allocate more resources towards the RAM. Um, oh, another thing you can do here is if you go into details, um, then you'll see your programs that are running and you can sort by which one is uh, using the most memory here. Um, so it does say that Chrome is using the most memory. And then we can set priority to high and then it'll allocate more resources to this. Um, so then it will just start consuming more and more even. Um, Firefox is using a lot also. Let's go ahead and set that to high. Um, also, if any of your affinities are set to zero, um, your affinity here says how many cores you're using. I have four cores. Um, so all of my cores are automatically set to, um, to use all of my um, cores at once. Um, but another thing we can do here is we can try setting one of these to real time. Um, and that's gonna mess a lot of stuff up. It's gonna basically freeze the whole thing, I'm thinking. So let's go to performance now and see how that is doing. Um, so it's only using 2.5 so far. Um, not using as much as I would think. It does say 2.5 out of 2.7 gigabytes, 93%. So I'm not entirely sure why it doesn't say out of eight because here it says, eight gigabytes DDR3, but maybe, let me go ahead and check my um, MS config. Here, I'm gonna check my MS config by typing in MS config and pressing enter. Um, and that's in the run dialog box. And then you go to um, boot, and then you go to advanced options. Um, okay, so this is maximum memory. So I have my memory capped at 2.7 gigs for some reason, accidentally. So I'm gonna unclick that, and then click apply. And it's wanting to restart. Let's exit without a restart and see if this moves this up. Um, so I guess we'd probably have max this out then since I accidentally had my RAM capped. Um, I don't know if, it is, if it'll tell you if you've used up to that or not, but um, so yeah, that is how to, and we definitely have used 100% CPU. Um, we were using 100% earlier, but yeah, guys, that's how you do it. Um, you can just go back to Chrome here and keep uh, spamming these um, spamming these tabs open, and that will definitely help you in your process. You see the CPU, see that spike up right there. Um, but yeah, good luck.